five minutes, starting with the procession of graduands, followed by the academic procession. In respect of this occasion, I ask that you please take your seats and remind you to turn off any electronic devices. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, would you please rise for the procession of graduands and remain standing for the academic procession. 
Welcome to the Spring Convocation of Kwantlen Polytechnic University. We start by honoring our name, which was bestowed upon us by the Kwantlen First Nation, and we welcome you to their traditional territories. We are especially honored to have members of the Kwantlen First Nation present with us on this occasion, and I invite Kevin and Michael Kelly to bring a blessing to the convocation. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I really want to thank you, Al and Arvinder, and the organizers. I thank you on behalf of my wife, Stakwatan, Chief Marilyn Gabriel. I really want to thank you for respecting the land you're on today. I was saying to the girls, your hospitality is unbelievable here. You treat us good, you feed us well. You've learned a lot from our people. <laughs> and I thank you for your warm heart. And to the graduates, I was talking to the girls outside. And I know my wife would want me to say this to you. I understand a lot of you are future nurses. I look after the community for health. I hold my hands up to each and every one of you. There is a big need for your help to keep us healthy. My wife always says, as a leader, as a chief, if you're not healthy, you can't help your people. So I thank you for your wonderful gifts that you're going to carry on in your journey today. But I also want to congratulate the ones with the disabilities, because this one warms my heart. With that, we'll do a welcome song. And once again, I hold my hands up to you, and thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh. 
Thank you. Thank you, Kevin and Michael. Please stay standing as we sing together our national anthem, O Canada. Please be seated. I declare Kwantlen Polytechnic University's convocation in session to honor our 2014 graduates. My name is Alan Davis and I have the honor of serving as KPU's president and vice chancellor. Convocation means to call together by summons and in universities, convocations are called for the conferring of degrees and for the recognition of outstanding achievement. So it is today that we call colleagues and friends together to honor KPU's graduates and distinguished awardees of 2014. I would like to introduce the members of the platform party. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. I'm pleased to introduce KPU's Chancellor of Indababa. We have members of the Board of Governors present today, Jeff Dean and Sandra Hoffman. The member of KPU's Foundation Board, Ryan McAdams, and a member of the Alumni Board, Lindsay Cheveteres. Representatives of the University Senate. The members of our faculty who are here today. Provost and Vice President Academic Dr. Salvador Ferreras, Chief Advancement Officer Jeff Norris, Deputy Provost and Associate Vice President Academic Jane Fee, University Librarian Todd Mundell, University Secretary Sandy Clarson, the University Registrar and Marshal of Convocation Robert Hensley, the Dean's Associate Deans and other members of the University Administration. We also have with us today the Distinguished Teaching Award recipient, Nargis Gadi Ali. And ladies and gentlemen, please join me in acknowledging the platform party. We also have with us in the audience, uh, Glenis Zilm, who is a KPU honorary degree recipient from 2008. Welcome, Glenis. Thank you for coming. And Patrick Donahoe who is soon to be our next Dean of Academic and Career Advancement. Patrick, welcome. <laughs> Chancellor Baba, would you please bring greetings to the convocation? President Dr. Ellen Davis, board members, Senate members, graduates, honored guests, family members, faculty, staff, and alumni. Good morning and welcome to Kwantlen Polytechnic University's convocation ceremony. I'm honored to stand before our graduates <clears throat> and share in their special day. Today, along with your friends and family, we celebrate the many accomplishments and successes as learners at KPU. I've learned many lessons of my own over the years, 
through trial, through error, from prepared choices to spontaneous decisions. Through circumstantial, joyous, and trying times, I have learned, and I would like to share with you one piece of advice. Seize opportunity. And when you do, bring to it your talents, your ideas, your passions, and your commitment. Opportunities can be complex, and we have all seen many come and many go. We have missed opportunities, not realizing their potential until we so see someone else enjoying what could have been ours. We overlook opportunities for many reasons, because we are scared, unsure, indecisive, and sometimes we are just not able to recognize them when we see them. Opportunities are a privilege, not an entitlement, and they should be treated as such. So do not shy away bashfully or ignorantly from something that may change your life. Your education comes from a unique institution. So live your lives and fulfill your dreams as an extension of KPU. Commit yourself to your community. Donate your time and talent to help transform and change your communities for the better. We wish you great happiness and we wish you great success. Once again, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor. Jennifer Wojtek will address the convocation on behalf of the graduates. Jennifer, you haven't heard what she said yet. Jennifer is a graduate from the BPN program, the Bachelor of Psychiatric Nursing program, and an advocate for the psychiatric nurse profession. She leads by example and demonstrates to others what psychiatric nurses are capable of and their value to the healthcare system. She actively engages with her profession, taking every opportunity possible to attend conferences, in services, workshops, and networking opportunities relating to healthcare. Jennifer. Thank you. I'm gonna stop blushing first. <laughs> Um, so, a few weeks ago, I was told that I was being nominated to speak on behalf of my cohort today. And uh, initially, I felt uh, very honored and was really excited to do so. And, and then I started to feel this building anxiety. And just as an aside, I know it was anxiety because, like it or not, everyone in every nursing student um, becomes all too familiar with the symptoms of anxiety, whether they like it or not, uh, let alone psychiatric nursing students whose job it is to know the symptoms of anxiety. And after studying for registration exams, I'm pretty much an expert. So, <laughs> But I was feeling anxious because as I sat trying to remember and reflect on my time spent at Kwantlen, I found that so much of that time seemed like a blur. And I remembered going into the program and saying to myself, okay, Jen, just eight semesters. And then, okay, just seven more semesters, you can do this. And then suddenly it was semester seven and we were supposed to be consolidating our skills. And then I was saying to myself, I don't have any skills to consolidate. <laughs> and <laughs> slow down, I'm not ready. Graduating is overrated anyways, right? But uh, I was ready and we were all ready and the faculty knew it even if we didn't because though it may have taken us a few semesters to realize, there really was a method to all the BPN madness. So um, on further reflection, I, I've realized that the way I can, the only way that I can accurately convey the Kwantlen BPN program to those who haven't gone through it themselves is to make a reference to a rather cheesy, but nonetheless glorious 1984 movie. And uh, I'm referring to The Karate Kid. And uh, I kid you not, Kwantlen's BPN program is a lot like Mr. Miyagi. And for example, although we weren't learning defensive techniques by painting houses or waxing cars, um, we were having seemingly casual conversations with clients and patients, but really learning how to apply and integrate therapeutic communication techniques. Uh, I also know I'm not the only one who sat there in Keith's, Keith Best's class, semester one, um, skeptical of the practicality of explaining how I'd been assertive each week. Uh, yet when it came time to advocate for myself as a BPN student and explain how I differed from a BSN student and what my unique skill set was, I started to see the forest for the trees. 
Um, in our program, we've learned how to see patients and clients as individuals first rather than a diagnosis. We've learned the importance of connection and of building relationships and trust. And then, of course, all the technical jargon and mumbo jumbo, too. Um, though Kwantlen's approach has been different and seemingly more abstract than structured at times, uh, in turn, that has made us more abstract and I feel more valuable because we think outside the box, we voice our opinions and we ask questions, we learn through different mediums, we teach others and ourselves, we are reflexive and adaptable, we are dynamic just like the field that we are going into. Um, I'm very grateful to be celebrating Convocation today with my cohort and with all of the other graduates as well. Um, these are some of the most passionate, creative, supportive, and uh, amazing people I have ever met. Um, I'm very proud to call you all classmates and some friends, and I will be as equally proud to call you colleagues as we venture out into the world. Um, healthcare itself is a challenging field and one that is mentally taxing at times. Uh, days run long and emotions run high and there are numerous factors at play affecting uh, health outcomes and many of them are out of our control. So with all that in mind, um, before I send off, I'd like to give you a quote from John Wooden and it is that perfection is impossible. However, striving for perfection is not. Do the best you can under the conditions that exist and that is what counts. Um, I want to say a very heartfelt thank you to the diverse and amazing faculty members who have taught, supported, and Miyagi'd us into the nurses we are here today, as well as all the other amazing faculty that have had their hands in helping us get here today. Um, and immense congratulations to all the Kwantlen graduates. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Well, we now come to the official and the legal part of the ceremony, which is where we certify those who are here to graduate, the graduands. Would all the graduands please rise? <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, it is with great pleasure that I hereby certify that the graduands here present and those in absentia have met the requirements for the credentials to be presented this day as prescribed by the Senate of Kwantlen Polytechnic University, and I ask that you confer upon them their credentials. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the statutes of the province of British Columbia, and upon the recommendation of the Senate, and the Registrar of Portland Polytechnic University, I confer upon you the credential to which you are entitled and invest you with all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to the credential. In keeping with the tradition of the university convocations, please move your tassels from the right to the left side. Congratulations to all of you. You may be seated. We now come to the fun part that most of you have been waiting for, where we present each of our graduates to the convocation. Jane Fee, KPU's Deputy Provost and Associate Vice President Academic, will present the graduates assisted by a Head Marshal, Zena Mitchell. Offering congratulations to each graduate as they cross the stage will be myself, with a pres presentation of a commemorative medal, Chancellor Bubba, the dean of the respective faculty, and each graduate will, presented will be, it, be presented with an invitation and a gift from Lindsay Sivateris on behalf of the KPU Alumni Association. Graduates, please return to your seats as directed by the marshals after crossing the stage. Don't go wandering about. <laughs> we'll try to keep this orderly, and please stay until everyone has crossed the stage but vocal encouragement of your favorite graduate is very welcome. This is, after all, a celebration. Dr. Fee, when you're ready. We will now recognize the graduates of the Faculty of Academic and Career Advancement. Joining us to greet the graduates will be the Dean of the Faculty of Academic and Career Advancement, Jazz Parmar.
Diploma in English Language Proficiency, Ahmad Hamedi. Hatan Tariq Karim. Mursal Moshtari. Certificate of Completion in Access Programs for People with Disabilities, Job Preparation, Christina Michelle Barr. <laughs> Bethany Ann Bjorn. Stephanie Sophia Diakowska. <laughs> Willow Edie. Derek Carl Easton. Krista Rochelle James. Mia Cecilia Jensen. Mary Jude Korean Parambal. Kendra Dion O'Reilly. Ashley Ravnita Sangha. Joshua Daniel Varela. Certificate of Completion in Access Programs for People with Disabilities, Work Exploration, Roseanne Elizabeth Elliott. Lisa Marie Green. Angela Marie Howard. Kyle Mitchell Kingsborough. Craig William Lundgren. (laughs) 
Margaret Kelly Martin. Krista Brittany Sanders. Paul Richard Schofield. Cole John Trussell. Chit Hey Kenny Tung. Megan Elizabeth Urbanic. Wendy Wenchi Wang. <laughs> Certificate of Completion in Vocational Skills Training, Child Care Aid Option, Access Programs for People with Disabilities. Maxwell Ching Ming Chan. Maninder Kaur Hare. Sarah Marie McLeod. Chloe Ho Yi Wong. Certificate of Completion in Vocational Skills Training, Clerical Assistant Option, Access Programs for People with Disabilities. Joshua Levinson. <laughs> Certificate of Completion in Vocational Skills Training, Early Childhood Educator Assistant Option, Access programs for people with disabilities. Salima Karim Kara. <laughs> Chancellor Bubber, I present to you the graduates of the Faculty of Academic and Career Advancement. We will now recognize the graduates of the Faculty of Community and Health Studies. Joining us to greet the graduates will be the Dean of the Faculty of Community and Health Studies, True Freeman. Bachelor of Psychiatric Nursing, Ramandeep Kaur Brar. Graduating with distinction, Varsha Chand. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Abby Chiang. Graduating with distinction, Jessica Ray de la Cherwa. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, 
Amanda Michelle Ferrand. Gina Marie Fabia. Graduating with distinction, Melissa Jewell Gordon. Jarek Josue. Atia Khan. Natasha Neelam Kumar. <laughs> Natasha Shazlin Lada. <laughs> Lacey Julia Marshall. Kamal Mehta. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Aaron Alexis Cole Moore. <laughs> Vincent Noel Roma. Navpreet Samra. <laughs> Marizef Sampson. <laughs> Stephanie Sharmila Singh. Graduating with distinction, Jennifer Christina Wojtek. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Lindsay Elise Rika Araki. Amanda Rachel Bean. <laughs> Melissa Emma Bouvy. <laughs> Harman Kar Bopare. Melissa Renee Bose. <laughs> Ashley Margaret Brar. <laughs> Kathleen Marie Ramos Cabahog. Jaskirit Kar Chahal.
Sandy Quinto Cruz. Graduating with distinction, Tanya Eliza De Leon. <laughs> Prabjit Kaur Dial. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Mayhawk Deep Gill. Graduating with distinction, Cassandra Lynn Grant. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Christina Andrea Hasty. Graduating with distinction, Natasha Harleen Kine. Graduating with distinction, Farima Karimi. Ginny Hui Yun Lo. Graduating with distinction, Jasmine Monica Mahi. <laughs> Krista Liza Mangosing. Graduating with distinction, Manjot Kar Munde. <laughs> Sonia Parmar. <laughs> Allison Michelle Rennert. Monica Dianida Rodolfo. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Lavinia Noemi Russo. <laughs> Amandeep Saini. Jeremy Daniel Sealer. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Aliana Pagdanganan Serrano. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Erica Sheehan. Rupinderjeet Kaur Sidhu. <laughs> Christina Brenda Stone. <laughs> Sandeep Tiara.
Certificate in Graduate Nurse Internationally Educated Reentry, Pamela Marie Abayan. Jyoti Arora. Graduating with distinction, Gurinder Atwal. Graduating with distinction, Catherine Marie Cachero Buscato. Kevin Leo Cadiogan. <laughs> Olivia Cadiogan. Maylin Madrazo Kajayan. <laughs> Alan Kahiti Ann Condes. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Vivienne Navarro de la Serna. Judith Constantino de Vinagracia. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Mark Cristense Ragual Felipe. <laughs> Christine Silverian Hippol. Graduating with distinction, Nitha Jacob. <laughs> Hazel J. Bacon Jalili. <laughs> Amardeep Kingra. Graduating with distinction, Christian J. Andal Leonor. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Justine Joy Parma Magdamet. Eligio Barangan Mawal. Mary Grace Lorezo Mogatar. Graduating with distinction, Krishna May Devera Mandala. Benedicta Allo Pongos.
Geraldine Ann Loranio Pure. Jennifer Ramirez. Kulwinder Kaur Rondawa. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Emmy Lynn Robles. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, James Ian Somera. Graduating with distinction, Simi Suresh. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Saranjit Kaur Tour. <laughs> Hannah Alina Hernandez Ulankaya. Ana Maria Ulici. <laughs> Mary Lou Jabo Veloso. Graduating with distinction, Antoinette Navarro Viari. <laughs> Graduating with distinction from the Certificate in Healthcare Assistant program, Rondir Singh Clare. Graduating with distinction, Bakashni Kumari Otar. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Jody Brooke Bean Blossom. Graduating with distinction, Laura Catherine Byrie. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Anna Delamore. Graduating with distinction, Jennifer Cecilia Denman. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Gervinder Kaur Dale. Graduating with distinction, Justine Louise Ehrenholtz. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Yi Jun He. <laughs> Lynn Marie Hurd. Graduating with distinction, Mark Anthony Tamondong Iglesias. Yeah. 
graduating with distinction, Gurpreet Kaur. Graduating with distinction, Samantha Ann Kuntz. <laughs> Donna Harita Patirana. Graduating with distinction, Christina Ines Rosé. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Harinder Kaur Saini. Graduating with distinction, Felicia Anne Marie Terpsma. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Mary Ann Tillikarotny. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Vera Allen Townsend. Graduating with distinction, Amy Vu. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Paige Sims Wilson. <laughs> Graduating with distinction from the Certificate in Health Unit Coordinator Program, April Yvette Aquino. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Amninder Kaur Basi. <laughs> Sandra Micheline Berg. Graduating with distinction, Tan Shia Chen. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Carissa Michelle Hill. <laughs> Alisa M. Cleaver. Graduating with distinction, Miranda Elaine Low Highstead. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Dolita Shireen Vanderwell. Graduating with distinction from the Certificate in Special Education Teacher Assistant Program, Stacy Maria Calogero. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Melissa Elsa Marie Campion. Karina Marie Graham. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Patricia Evelyn Maria Kelso.
graduating with distinction, Susan Candace Williams. Chancellor Bubber, I present to you the graduates of the Faculty of Community and Health Studies. Graduates, now it's your turn. You can stand up and turn around and acknowledge your family and friends and make some noise, okay? Thank you. Dr. Salvador Ferreris, uh, Provost and VP Academic, will now present the Governor General Silver Academic Medal and the Dean's Medals. The Governor General Silver Academic Medal is awarded to a KPU student who has attained the highest academic standing in the graduation year of a bachelor's degree program. It is one of the highest academic honors KPU can bestow. The Governor General's Silver Academic Medal is awarded to a graduate of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program, Isabella Peggy. Since completing her program last August, Isabella has been working at the BC Children's Hospital Adolescent Psychiatry Unit. Her future plans include obtaining her master's degree so that she, become, she can become a nursing educator or a therapist. Congratulations, Isabella. The Dean's Medal Award is around, awarded to the KPU student who has demonstrated academic excellence. Wow, what a day. <laughs> Let me try that again. The Dean's Medal is awarded to the KPU student who has demonstrated academic excellence and has contributed in a significant fashion to their field of study. The awards will be accepted from President Alan Davis and the respective Dean. The recipient of the Dean's Medal for the faculty Community and Health Studies is Brianne Schenderling in the Healthcare Assistant Program. The recipient of the Dean's Medal for the Faculty of Academic and Career Advancement is Mursal Mushtari in the Diploma in English Language Studies Program.
Each year, Kwantlen Polytechnic University recognizes outstanding dedication in areas of teaching, service, and scholarship. At this convocation, we recognize the Distinguished Teaching Award. I have the privilege of introducing to you today Nargis Gadi Ali, selected and approved by the Senate of KPU to receive the Distinguished Teaching Award. An instructor in the healthcare assistant program, Nargis has been a dedicated teacher, mentor, and advisor to KPU students since 2009. Her commitment to student success over the years has been unwavering, and she is clearly, and is clearly demonstrated in her empathy towards student needs, as well as the way in which she encourages students to reach their fullest potential in a gentle, supportive manner. Nargis's years of experience teaching in a variety of healthcare programs has resulted in a wide range of teaching strategies, which she now implements to enable her students in meaningful ways. She is a registered nurse with clinical oncology, psychology, rehabilitation, acute medical and surgery and public health experience, and she previously served as a valuable volunteer to the Richmond Health Board. With skills that extend well beyond the educational setting and a commitment to growing and maximizing each student's potential, Nargis continues to serve KPU and its student body as a distinguished teacher. Chancellor Baba, I present to you Nargis Gadi Ali, Distinguished Teaching Award recipient. I would like to invite uh, Lindy Sabateres from the Kwantlen Polytechnic University Alumni Association to provide a welcome to its newest members. Lindsay. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the KPU Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to congratulate all graduates and welcome you as new members of the Alumni Association. In many ways, you may feel like your journey at KPU has now been completed. But remember, as you go out into the world to make your mark, KPU will always be your alma mater and a place that helps set the foundation for where you are going. Our alumni body is growing fast. Currently, there are over 44,000 KPU alumni out there, and the Alumni Association plays a vital role in bringing together graduates to build lifelong relationships with the university each other, and the community. Your individual accomplishments in education and career are what gives this university its character. Your success is the number one indicator of how well we are doing as a university, and we want you to succeed. The Alumni Association is here to share and support in your growth in the years to come. Our existing alumni are everywhere in this world doing some amazing things, and we welcome you to this community where you can inspire and be inspired by your fellow graduates. We wish you all the success upon your graduation and we look forward to staying in touch with you. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Chancellor, members of the board, faculty and staff, graduates, friends, KPU is a university for our times, a polytechnic university, open and accessible and relevant both to local needs and to the global issues of our society. A university that is driven by teaching and learning, that is engaged with its communities, and which is inspired and enriched by scholarship. All of us here have had the honor and the privilege of helping each of you along the way in reaching your educational goals. Thank you for choosing us. Friends and family, thank you for all that you have done in supporting our graduates and for being here today. And I'd like to offer my congratulations to the faculties of academic and career advancement and to community and health studies for another year 
of achievement. Both administrators, faculty, and staff, thank you for making me look good. Thank you. <laughs> we have big ambitions for KPU. We intend to be better, bigger, and bolder. And as alumni, I urge you to stay in touch with us and be prepared to be um, proud of and amazed by your alma mater. So go forth, and if you haven't got one already, take the advice, advice my father gave to me when I graduated, those three little words that mean so much, get a job. <laughs> now we know that almost all of our grads are employed very quickly, so the odds are good. Well, this concludes our convocation. I'd like to thank all of those who have been involved in the planning and execution of today's ceremony. They know who they are, and I appreciate their extraordinary efforts. Now, during the recessional, after the Chancellor Bubba has dismissed the convocation, I want you to all stand and remain standing until the platform party and the graduates have exited the convocation. Then we'll meet you over in Convocation Hall for a reception and hugs and photographs and so on. Chancellor Bubba, please dismiss the convocation. If we can get everyone to rise. In honor of our deep respect for the Kwantlen First Nation, I offer this blessing in harmony with and with deep respect for the many faiths and philosophic traditions represented here today. As you continue on life's journey, may you walk tirelessly. May the Creator walk with you. May His peace be in your minds. May her love be in your hearts. All my relations. I declare the convocation dismissed. Thank you.